Hi, my name is Maddie Byrne and I'm studying elementary and special education. My purpose for this video is to lay out the professional disposition to teach and how it can and will affect me as a teacher. I believe that I possess many of these qualities. One being compassion. Since I was in third grade, I've always wanted to be an elementary school teacher. I was one of those kids where I knew what I wanted to be since I was young and it's never really changed. Except for when I was in high school, my eyes were open to the field of special education and I immediately had a heart for it and knew that that was where God wanted me to be. I will always have compassion and I've always had compassion since I was little for young kids and for older kids, but mostly for young kids. It, my school was K through 12 and I went to that school since I was in third grade and all through my high school years I was always in the elementary school classrooms being with those kids and just spending time with them and I know that when I have my own classroom or when I'm teaching young kids that I will always have compassion for them and always want to know how their day is going and what their family life is like so I can help them with any challenges that they have and help them with any challenges in general and just I always want my students to know that I'm here and that I'm very ready to help them with anything and ready to be on their side. For me, dedication is one of the most important things that you can possess as a teacher. Having punctuality and consistent attendance for your students is really important because you are an example for them. Especially when it comes to teaching young kids, I find it very important to be dedicated to them and to their learning. And Especially when you're teaching special ed, like I really want to be doing, you have to really show them your dedication and that you really care about them learning because it is more challenging for them to learn than it is for younger kids. So for you to always be in the classroom and actively participating in what they're doing and showing them that you understand how to do it and that you can teach them with patience is really important and showing them that you will always show up for them no matter what, no matter when. and that you will always be there for them no matter what they're going through, whether or not it's schoolwork or just normal work. I feel like as a teacher or just any human in general, reflection is always something that we can struggle with. Always finding what we did wrong and learning to reflect on it and learning how to get better. Especially as a teacher, you have to always be willing to work hard and get better at what you're doing because you can never be perfect especially when you're teaching elementary students. They can be really challenging sometimes, and special ed. It can be really challenging, and you're going to make mistakes. So when you make mistakes, you have to always know to reflect on it. And I struggle with this right now as a college-age student, is always knowing what I'm doing wrong and how to fix it and how I can go back and fix my mistakes and learn from them. Learning from them is really important, and I will always be continue to work on reflection along with all of these other traits that I should possess as a teacher. The main quality that a professional educator should possess is honesty, whether that's with your kids or with admin that you're working under or in general. You should always be able to be honest with your kids and tell them, hey, I made a mistake, I'm sorry, I will fix that, or just being there for your students in an honest and loving way. It's really important when you're dealing with administration or people above you because you always want to be striving to learn more and you have to always own up to your mistakes and be honest that you made a mistake or just be honest about anything going on around you. Owning up to your mistakes and being honest is one of the most important things. Honesty in a classroom can really make or break you as a teacher. You want to always be honest with your TAs or your students or anyone around you or fellow teachers in general. You want to be honest with them and tell them what they're doing wrong or what you're doing wrong and how you guys can fix that.